Doctors of Reddit, what is the weirdest thing a patient wouldn't admit? Not a doctor, but a nurse. When you come into the hospital wanting to detox, and I ask you how much you drink, please stop lying to me. Withdrawal from alcohol is nasty, but I can make it a little more bearable. If it's two bottles of vodka a day, tell me so I can medicate you accordingly. You'll thank me later, when you aren't having a seizure. Two bottles of vodka a day. How long can the liver and kidneys actually deal with that abuse? I only ask, because after seeing a guy in his mid-30s buy a bottle of vodka, bottle of whiskey and some beers at 11am. Cost him over $80 I had no idea how much an alcoholic actually drank or spent. What a horrifying disease. My brother rode this train the last 4 years of his life. So at least 4 years, preceded by a slow daily alcoholism increase to that point over 30 years. Only work records in a clinic, but we had a woman come in with a report of vagina loader. All well and good, it happens all the time in an ob slash gin clinic. What she hadn't bothered to say was that she'd gotten a tampon stuck around the end of her last period. She'd gone through menopause 7 years prior. I want to make sure I'm understanding this clearly. She had a tampon stuck in her vagina for 7 years. I didn't go into her chart, but according to the medical assistant that was in the room, yes, the rest of us needed no more proof than what our nose is found in the hallway. Swamp so dagaba. Not a doctor but my husband. He had a 17 year old girl with abdominal pains come into the air with her mum. Turns out she's in full blown labor, assures them she can't be pregnant, she's a virgin. The baby is literally crowning right there in her no maternity ward in their hospital, and she was in advanced labor when she arrived, and she still insists she's a virgin. Edit, poor wording. My husband was the doctor, not the 17 year old girl. Ah, my mother is a nurse, and told me about the time some lady came in for abdominal pains as well. Yep, she was pregnant, and gave birth, and as soon as the baby was out she screamed it's not mine. Mom responded with it didn't come out of me. That they don't know how to read. I've been taught the trick of handing a paper upside down to them to see if they can read. It's good to know if they don't, so you can make extra sure they have a full understanding of their instructions instead of saying to read the details on the sheet. I've accompanied a blind friend to medical appointments a few times, and doctors are always giving her instructions in writing without reading the material to her. I'm a pediatric dentist, so maybe not the type of doctor you were looking for, but this one throws me for a loop every time, so I'll share it. When I sedate kids they have to be NPO for 8 hours before, so I always ask if they had anything to eat or drink in the morning. Parents never want to admit their kid ate or drank, even when I remind them it's very important, because if they vomit and aspirate they could die. Often they try to minimize it and say it was just a few bites, but one kid walked in eating a bag of cheetahs at reception, and then the parent insisted to me that they hadn't eaten. Yeah, I'm 100% not sedating your child today. How stupid can parents be? Don't they understand the risks? We have multiple outbreaks of treatable viruses that have been curable slash manageable for 40 years thanks to the scientific breakthroughs with vaccines, and you're asking if they understand anything? Not a drive, but worked in a hospital for a long time. Had a part come in that had odd on heroin. Was able to get him set on that front, however he had necrotizing fasciitis in his pectoral from injecting there. He was septic and honestly a bit of an asshole. He kept trying to tell us the reason he was there was because of a motorcycle accident. We all knew, but he was in absolute denial. He eventually heals up and transfers out, after a couple months. He came back about 6 months later, to say thank you to all of us, and to apologize for all the lies and shallish behavior. Seems it was enough to get him out of that life, and onto a new one. I think about him now, and then and hope he stayed clean. I volunteer at an uh, prisoner shoved a ballpoint pen up his urethra to get out of being stabbed, I Ike. Insisted he had no idea how it got there. We spent hours deliberating how to get it out, and he just reaches down, still in his handcuffs, and pulls it out himself. Edit, you can't get stabbed if you're not in the prison, and any sort of self-harm will land you on suicide watch which is brutal as well. 
Weird sex stuff though, no problem. Prison nurse here, we see this frequently. Saw one guy who actually got stabbed, and he was so oddly relaxed about the whole thing. Making jokes, normal BP, heart rate only like 80, prison must be insane. Have you seen the movie Chopper? Hilarious scene when his friend in prison stabs him, several times, and Chopper's just like, oh mate, what did ya do that for? Nurse here, had a patient accuse me of shitting in her bed, and threatened to sue me for malpractice. Keynote, she never got out of her bed. I admitted a guy for chest pain. As part of the workup, I did a urine drug screen which came back positive for cocaine. After the rest of his cardiac workup was negative, I said to him, good news, you didn't have a heart attack. It's likely that your chest pain was caused by cocaine. His answer, I didn't use cocaine. See, I was at a party and people had some lines of cocaine out on a table. As I was walking by, an oscillating fan blew the cocaine into my face, which is why my urine was positive. MMMHMM. Got it. Yeah cos parties with cocaine on the table frequently have fans near the coke. I'm a court tech, and I was to scan a woman's abdomen for belly pain. She and her girlfriend were there. I have to have a pregnancy test. I have to have one done. I can't radiate a fetus. I even ask none so no exceptions. She denies up and down she's pregnant, and then, after the test I did, it said she was. She denied it, and demanded a blood test, since she was a lesbian, and never has sex with men. Well the blood test came back positive also surprise, and the argument that ensued was biblical. She was arguing with her girlfriend and the nurses and the doctor. I never ended up scanning her, and they chalked up her pain to her being pregnant. The look on her girlfriend's face when I said it came back positive was one I will never forget. Edit, because I've gotten this comment a lot. The woman in the room with the patient was her so, and they had been together a long time, and the patient had given her so permission, in writing, to allow her to hear her medical information. Many of you are saying you shouldn't have told her in front of her so, and you're partially right in a way, but, the patient had given her so that permission, and I did not question it. Had she not, I would have asked her so to leave the room. You can give anyone you deem necessary access or no access to your medical information. It's not limited to spouses. All the symptoms of pregnancy plus two positive pregnancy tests. There's 0% chance I can be pregnant. I'm not married. To be fair, the patient's mother was there and this was in a very conservative country. She ended up admitting she was pregnant when we separated her from the mom. Isn't it pretty typical to separate minors and parents when the doctor is about to ask about sexual activity? I remember when I was 15 to 16, my mum was sent out of the room so the doctor could ask if I was sexually active. This was during a medical mission trip to Guatemala. No real rules like that out there. I gave a very abbreviated view of the encounter, but the mother was very supportive throughout the appointment, so the attending thought it would be useful to have her there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more curated daily reddit stories.